Hi folks, Kevin Inkster here again. In this video I want to show you how to make this uh, smart little uh, plywood amplifier for any smartphone, iPod or anything like that. It simply fits into the slot into the top like so and the sound is directed out through the front and you'll be surprised how effective this is. So here uh, you can see how I'm going to construct this uh, speaker. I've got six layers of uh, marine ply. I choose to use marine ply because there's no voids in it. It, it works really nicely. Um, the top layer, I've put a slot in the top where the iPhone fits, like so. Below it, um, in the position where the speaker is on the iPhone or whichever type of smartphone you have, you may have two speakers, in which case you might want two holes. In the next two layers, I've made a hole right, th right the way through. The bottom three layers, um, there's no holes in it at all. I'll just sculpt that, uh, sculpt the speaker shape in it. So I'll glue it together in two sections, the bottom section and the top section with the holes for the speaker. So these three will make up the top section. You can see when I put them together, the hole um, in the other side. Now I have uh, the two sections um, glued together. This is the top section, you can see with the slot, the hole at the bottom there. And I've used the paper template just to mark out the shape of the, the speaker, the internal of the speaker that I'm about to shape. So now I'm just going to get the turbo plane and I'm going to sculpt that out. The beauty with plywood is that as I sculpt, I'll be able to see the contours and be able to do it quite, quite uh, um, uniformly by just looking at the contours as I progress down into it. You may need to bring the two sides together and just check for alignment. You may need to just adjust it slightly. First I'll use the sander from the uh, Mini Turbo because uh, it's very good for rapid fine shaping and then I'll use the contour sander for doing my fine finish using the random sanding action. Okay, I've finished uh, sculpting and sanding the insides of the speaker. Um, you can see that you can check your symmetry as you go in because the contours reveal themselves as they go, so it's quite easy to do that. One other little trick too, it's very difficult to get it exactly matching top and bottom, so what I do is round the edges so, so that there's not a defined edge as they come together. Um, so there's the top and there's the bottom. They come together like so and you can see down inside there. Now I'll uh, glue, I'll, I'll actually oil the inside of this first and wipe that and then I'll glue it together and then I'll just round the edges etc and finish it off and that's it. that's most of the work done now. The two halves are glued together. Um, the inside looks just awesome down inside there. Um, all I have to do now is clean up the, the sides and I might just round these edges um, so that you can see the grain going around the edges and uh, oil that up and it will be finished. That's the, uh, all the sanding done really. I've, I've just rounded all of the edges and I've gone to a rather square shape. Um, I could, if I wanted to, sculpt the whole outside and get a lot of these sort of nice lines, but I think the square shape looks nice and modern, so I might just stay with that for now. Now it just remains for me to uh, put a coating on it. I like to oil it, it goes on very easily. If it stains, you can always just sand it and do it again, so I'm just using a standard furniture oil. Um, so I'll just put that on and that should be it complete.